It's time for Ryan's Roses. The email that we got, we always say it's a last resort. Do what you, try and sort this out yourself. And if you want to try and get to the bottom of it through us as a last resort, we'll give it a run. But here's what we have. Dear Ryan and Sisney, I got an email a few days ago. This is in the email. I got an email a few days ago. All it said was, I'm blanking your husband. Payback is a blank. And so am I. This is unbelievable. Come on. Right? She says, uh, I have no idea who it may be from. I have not told my husband about this because I know what he is going to say. He is not going to tell me the truth. This is from Michelle. Let's get Michelle now. Well, the question is, I have... Hey, Michelle? Hello? Hi. Have you... Just think back. Rack your brain. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything to anyone that would cause this kind of reaction? Um, I don't think so. Well, it says payback is a blank. So somebody is apparently reacting to something you did. I mean... Uh, you can't think of anything. I can't. I okay. mean... Uh, I, I, just a few more things. Do you think this is a hoax? It could be. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Well, how's your husband been acting? Yeah, is is there any sign of cheating? Um, no, but he's being, I don't know, I feel like he's being extra nice. I mean, no, that sounds silly, but my girlfriends have always said that, you know, if they do that, then they're, they're up to something, you know? It's called NG. It's NG. Nice guilt. Oh, God. <laughs> so you act nice because you're guilty. Uh, all right. Well, Michelle, do you have kids? Mm, we have one. Okay. How long have you been married? We've been married for nine years. I don't need anything else. I really don't. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to have you hold on for a second. I, I don't need anything else, do you? No, I I'm mean... Good. I'm going to go. Let's call next. This is crazy. This is crazy if this is true. So, uh, Michelle gets an email from another woman saying, Hey, I'm blanking your husband because I'm paying you back for what you did. <sighs> and uh, she can't think of anything she did to anybody to cause this now clearly somebody doesn't like michelle yeah but we're gonna call your husband and see what we can do we don't have a name this is just an anonymous email she got michelle Mm -hmm. got so michelle i need you to say ryan you my permission to call and then what your husband's name is on kiss fm go ahead ryan you have my permission to call on kiss fm all right we are going to call him we are going to offer him some roses what Mm -hmm. we're going to do is find out who he sends them to and then yeah. if he writes any sort of specific message on the card. Now, well, let me ask you a question, Michelle. Yeah. Let's say that this is real and there is a woman that wanted to get back at you and she went after your husband and your husband did it. Do you stay with him? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, I've always thought, oh, if he cheats, I'm gone. I just, oh, God, you know what? I can't even, I can't think that far ahead. Let me go with uh, the phone call here. Mm-hmm. Good luck, okay? Be very quiet. Sissy's going to make the okay. call now. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Rick. Yeah, this is Rick. Who's this? Hi, my name is Josie. I'm calling from Rosebuds and Design. We're a new flower shop here in La Habra. How you doing? Um, Good. I'm calling because we're trying to promote our delivery service. So we're giving away a dozen free red roses today, and they're absolutely free. I don't need any billing information from you, credit card info, nothing. Uh, just the name of the person you want to send them to. We can even put a quick note, and they'll get them by lunchtime. What do you mean they're free? Do I have to, like, sign up for something? No, they're, we just hope that whoever receives them likes them and then, you know, spreads the word. We're, about, we're like, barely new here. Kind of, you know where that Dollar Tree is on Harbor Boulevard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in that area. Okay. Um, all right. And you sure it's, it's absolutely free? I mean, I, I know how to. I don't need. No, I don't need any credit that. card info, nothing from you. Just the, we can start with the name of the person you want to send them to. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'd like to send them uh, to, to Erica, E R I K A. Okay. Um, cute. Who's that? What? Oh, it's just. Erica? Hello? Rick, I need I, you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. We have your wife, Michelle, on the line. Oh, my who, God. Who wait, is wait. Erica? Who is Erica, Rick? It's who just, is Erica? She's just a friend. We, uh, it, It's just a friend.
friend that I've been meeting up with for lunch the last couple of weeks. What? I know her. I, what? 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 Oh, you know her. What do you mean you know her? I know her. How, How do, do you, you know, know her, her, Michelle? I guess I know her. How do you know How her? How do you know her? Look, ha- Rick, how do you know her? Because I know her. In- Michelle, it's, it's, uh, she's a friend. We met at the gym, and I've, I've gone on to lunch with her a couple times. Oh, my God. Re- <laughs> Michelle, how do you know this woman, Erica? That doesn't matter, right? I, it um, does matter. It ma- yeah, every, what's all that matters. On here? It totally matters. <laughs> how do you know Erica? You know what, Rick? You're an idiot. She's just doing this to get back at me for something. She doesn't love you. Michelle, you just told me that you, you couldn't think of anything you mean, that she... somebody want to get back at you for, and now you, you have thought of something? Well... Yeah, what do you mean What do you mean she wants to get back at you? How do you know Erica? I'm on with them on this. How I do you know, know her, her, okay? Look how at you, Senior Rose. What does that you're mean? You're embarrassing yourself, Rick. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm so confused. What? How do you know her? What do you mean? You're confused, and you're the one sending her roses? I caught you. Michelle, how do you know Erica? I just, I know her, okay? Oh, why can't you so, answer that? So Erica then, I'm, I'm going to read this email. So, Rick, Erica, I guess, sent this email to your wife. And it says, I'm blanking your husband. Payback is a blank, and so am I. Does that sound like Erica, Rick? I, I mean... No, it doesn't. I'm, I don't know why. She and and are you her. are you not only having lunch with Erica, but having more than just lunch? I mean, I'm not going to say it over on, on on the air, but I mean, so oh we'd say God. yes. Otherwise, you'd once. say no. We met for dinner once. So you've had we lunch and dinner, dinner and you've have you have you had anything else with Erica? Not what not what she's saying in that email. No. So yeah, you are. I know her. I know her. How do you know her? Well, what does that mean? Because why can't you tell what us? You've been doing. I know what you've been doing. Michelle, why can't you tell us how you met her? Michelle. I'm not talking about this. Well, then, fine. Oh neither am I. Rick, you're, you, you're, do, you're doing wrong things. You're doing not good things with Erica. That's clear. Lunch and dinner, not okay. You're hiding it from your wife. Your wife has an issue with Erica. Erica obviously sent this email to your wife. I would say you're messing around with Erica based on all this, but no one's giving me any answers. I wish you guys the best of luck. Goodbye. I mean, come on. What was that? By the way, I spent five minutes asking Michelle if she knew of anybody that would do anything like this, and she couldn't think of anything, and then all of a sudden, she's not going to tell me about Erica? Ugh. And he's at lunch and dinner with Erica? What's the deal? The deal is Rick is messing around with Erica. Michelle did something to Erica or to somebody that... Michelle messed around with Erica's man. But why can't she tell us? Michelle messed around with Erica's man. Mm -hmm. And that's why she would go to this length to pay back. Now, Rick is still at fault. But I'm guessing Michelle did something with Erica's man. So she goes back for Rick and Rick is clearly letting it happen. Oh, my god! That's gosh. what's going on, yep. but very frustrating. I need a breather, mm. and I'm not involved in that relationship. <laughs> I know. But honestly, that is what's going on. That's the only thing. That's the only conclusion I can draw. Almost made it to the end of March. A lot of spring break on everybody's mind. A lot of spring. If you could go on spring break right now, where would you go? Oh, I'd go to, like, the Bahamas. That's far. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That that's, anywhere. <laughs> that's far. I would go to Cabo. I just would, I would shoot either Cabo or Disneyland. <laughs> Those are two very different extremes. I like differences. <laughs> Not on the same trip, Sissini. I'll be. I would break them up. Uh, all right, let's go back to Ryan's Roses. Now, I think we know what's going on here, unless I haven't thought about it, something, but I think we know what's going on. Michelle sends us uh, an email saying, I need you to find out what's going on with Rick, my husband. Rick sends the roses to Erica. Now, the reason Michelle wrote to us is because she got an anonymous email from some woman saying, I'm blanking your husband. Payback is a blank. I said to Michelle, the wife, is there anybody that is an enemy to you? Is there anybody that has it out for you? No. No. Can't think of anything. Lie to us. Then we get on the phone and Michelle says, I knew it was Erica. Mm -hmm. I knew it was Erica. Erica is a bad person. Erica's this. Erica's that. And so clearly Erica sent this anonymous email. And here's what I think. I think Michelle... 
the wife that wrote to us did something to Erica's man, Mm -hmm. and that's why she wrote this email that's anonymous and said payback's a blank. Mm -hmm. And that's why she went after the wife's husband, and clearly the husband is messing around. Oh, So that's what I think is going on. Yeah, because she wouldn't tell us how she met her. Well, what were you thinking during it? What were you thinking? I honestly was thinking that maybe she was hooking up with Erica, too. So she's jealous of Erica? No, yeah, like she's cheating on her husband with Erica. So let me understand that. Michelle. You think Michelle and Erica were a couple? Yes. And then? And then she's now trying to hook up with, I don't know. But why would she be so mad? (laughs) I don't know why she'd be so mad, but I don't know why she wouldn't tell us how she met her. That was the most frustrating part. Let me turn this over to the city. Caroline, it is your civic duty to explain this to me. (laughs) Okay, you guys ready for my theory? Yes. Okay. So here's what I think is happening. I think that years ago, Michelle had an affair with Erica. That's what Sissy did. And I think that Erica now, you know, I think Michelle probably called it off like, I'm married, I can't do this anymore, and broke things off in a bad way. And Erica's pissed off, and so she's getting back at her. Really? Yes. What, you don't think that Michelle messed around with Erica's man, and that's why... Erica wants to go after Michelle's man? I mean, it could be, but I just think, I think that she doesn't want to say, I mean, like, she didn't want to reveal anything. And yeah, she could have not wanted to reveal because she didn't want to say that she cheated on her husband. But I yeah. think that she, I think she's got some interest in the, the females and she doesn't want to talk to her husband about it. It sounded like she had a history with Erica. Well, he was like, I, I know her. History. Are we straight on one yeah. thing? Rick is cheating on his wife. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's I mean, it's lunch with uh, okay, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. He's going out to lunch and dinner with this woman. Cheating. Oh, there are. Well, educate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think no, he's definitely educate. having an emotional affair with this woman, but I don't, I'm not convinced that he's yet. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, we're on the radio. He's my language. Oh, my God. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Sorry. All right. right? All right. Well, Caroline's been wanting to get that word out for a day. (laughs) Okay. Caroline. Sorry. No, no, no. That is the act in which we think they're doing, but I didn't think we'd go there at this hour. Um, Caroline, I want you to get out there and meet somebody, okay? (laughs) I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's it's, it's our job to endure these things. You take care. Okay, Okay, thanks. Wow. I mean, she said that like she was uh, in the market for it. Totally. (laughs) I want to come back to what she said, that there are different levels of cheating, because I'd like to table mm. that and come back mm. to it. Kayla, can you hang on for one second? Sure. All right. Let me just, let's take a 60-second timeout. Come back with Kayla. She has a theory here on what's going on. Okay, Ryan's Rose is back to it, and then let's, let's wrap it up. By the way, based on the email that Erica wrote Michelle, she's not shy. So, Erica, if you're hearing all this, call us and clear it up. Yes. And minutes have gone by, so let me just recap this. Michelle is married to Rick. Rick sent the roses to Erica. Erica sent an anonymous email to Michelle saying, I'm blanking your husband. Payback is a blank. We're trying to, if Rick, I think is cheating with Erica. We're trying to figure out why did Erica pursue Rick? Why did Erica write this email to Michelle? You follow me on that? Right. Trying to break it down simply and then we had a call that said well i mean look he went to lunch and dinner there are different levels of cheating that's (laughs) that's not cheating yet are there different levels of cheating tanya yes what cheating cheating emotional cheating physical cheating but but is is there real it's like either you're you jump into a pool you're either wet or dry you're not just partially wet and, and wetter, right? So if my husband went out to lunch with another woman and dinner and dinner and, and who knows and you. then send the flowers to her and met him at the her at the gym. That's cheating. I'd have a problem with it, Tanya. Well, I'm not saying you can't have a problem with both. I'm just saying there's different levels. It's like it's almost like um you know how uh when you're painting and you get like all the different shades of blue? It's all blue, but there's different shades. <laughs> you're talking about the show? No, you can use any J- color. J Lo stars. <laughs> you can use any color. Uh, all right, let me grab Kayla. fifty shades of gray. <laughs> fifty shades of blue. Fifty shades of gray. Fifty shades of time. Time. What are you working on so feverishly over there on your computer? Maybe you want to watch the show. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking up zodiac sign stuff. Uh, <laughs> so someone asked me, "What is Tanya's job?" 
That's it. She looks up zodiac sign stuff during the show. Kayla, you're on with us. Go ahead. Hey, I totally agree with you. I think that she is totally messing around with Erica's man, or was, or maybe still is. And that's why she so viciously went after Michelle's guy, uh, right? I mean, you th- you think oh, yeah. that you think that Michelle, who wrote to us, messed around with Erica's man, and that's how this all started. Yes. It's only it makes sense to me. Yeah. All right. We are going to move on to something really good and something really happy and something warmer. Okay? <laughs> All right. 